Hey, what's up guys? James from Junkyard Fox. Thank you so much for joining me. And today I want to talk about this flashlight right here. So this is the Nikkor Tiny 2 flashlight. I got this around late November. So as a time of filming this video, it's April. So I've had it for about five months. Now, half that first half of my ownership of this light, I very much enjoyed this light. I was very much surprised by it. I even made a video uh, you know, top Christmas gift ideas for outdoorsmen, and this was one of them. I very much liked it that much. Uh, ever since then, though, it has failed me. Now, I have debated for weeks whether I should make this video or, you know, just quietly speak to the company, the warranty department, uh, to, to get the issue fixed. However, I feel like it's only fair for you guys to, um, you know, see the failures of gear as well as just not just the successes, right? So, um, once again, I want to love this light, but it did let me down. So let's go ahead and talk about that. So thank you for joining me. Let's get started. All right, folks. So let's go ahead and discuss the, uh, the Nikkora Tiny 2 flashlight. So this is a handsome little light with that Nikkor sent to me during the winter months. And I am very grateful for Nikkor to sending this to me. Like I said, I very much loved it the first half uh, of the time that I owned it. Um, it's small, it's lightweight, you know, now obviously this is going to be a keychain flashlight. It's not going to be your main one. And I've mentioned it many times. I'm not big into having like all these gizmos on my keychain. I, I think that's dorky and cumbersome. Um, now someone like me who's been well versed into the whole everyday carry lifestyle, I carry a flashlight on my jeans pocket, right? So this is going to be my main source of light. It's going to be stronger. It's going to last longer than something like this, but as a backup, it never hurts to have something on your keys. Not only that, but what really sold me to this is not only is it rechargeable, which I like, but it's I think it's great to introduce somebody into the everyday carry lifestyle. You know, you're trying to get somebody, one of your kids, your wife, you know, somebody to, to be a little bit more, more prepared in this post-2020 world. You know, it only makes sense to take these things a little bit more serious. So... You're introducing somebody to EDC, they're not gonna start out carrying this and a Leatherman and, and a fixed blade and a handgun, you know, all this stuff, right? That we tend to do, you know, uh, especially once again, women who tend to wear uh, more form-fitting clothing, so they're not gonna be walking around looking like Boba Fett. So something like this I thought was great, and I really, really enjoyed it. However, it stopped, see that? Technically, this should be on, and I've made sure that it's not me messing up and I have it in some weird setting. You know, because it's able to go up to 500 lumens, which is really strong for a little backup light. I really enjoyed it, but it's not, see how it, I had to click it like four times for it to start working. I don't like that. It's like the equivalent of, you know, the one day you're going to need your firearm and it jams on you. To me, it's just, I, I don't like that, and I can't comprehend what happened that caused it to change. So right here, I, it should be at 65 lumens. It should be lighting and it's not. This should be at 200 lumens and it's not. You know, um, once again, I haven't heard any problem from anybody. It's only when I put it on 500 and I press it down that it lights up, but sometimes it doesn't. See, now it's working. See, now it's on uh, 200 lumens and it's working. And if I switch it, it may keep working. Like see one lumen, but then it died. It should be on 15 lumens right now. So I don't comprehend that. I don't understand what's happening here. It works when it wants to. And uh, I don't think that's, um, you know, at least, you know, in my philosophy, that's unreliable and that's not gonna be something I want. Now, I can't, recall if I ever damaged this, like if I ever dropped it from a high place or something like that, or, you know, something heavy fell on it. To the best of my knowledge, that never happened. So I can't tell what's damaged inside, but it should be able to be more reliable than this. So right now it's working, which is odd. Sometimes it doesn't light up at all. So I'm going to turn it off. And let's see if it works again now. Because, I mean, I got to capture this on camera because, you know, sometimes it, it it's completely blacked out like this. And sometimes it, it does work perfectly fine. Okay, so 200 lumens. One lumen. 15 lumens. 
65 lumens. See, and that's what I like about this. Once again, for introducing your wife to it, for example, or your girlfriend, I mean, this is a great little light for them looking around, you know, um, you know, if they're walking in a dark alleyway or something like that, right? So it's just, it's just frustrating because I want to love it so bad. But yeah, you know, now it's working. So, uh, you know, now I'm looking like a liar here. Okay, so let's try to get this thing going again. Okay, so it's at 65 lumens. It should be lit at 65. It should be... Okay, so you got to put press it down on turbo, and that's when it, the only time it really works. Um, even then, sometimes it turns off. See, right now it should be at 65. It should be at 200. There should be 200 lumens coming out of here right now, and it doesn't. And then it tells me I have 32 minutes of 200 lumens. And as you guys can tell, it's completely dark. Moving to one lumen, 15. See, now, okay, so I'm gonna press it down to get to 500, the turbo mode. But once again, going back to this, you know, these other smaller lumens, they don't light up. Look, now they're now it's lit. See that? That's frustrating to me. So. It should work like this. And after like 25 seconds, it turns off by itself. I'm not touching it. Right? But it's just, it just drives me nuts because I, I can't stand, you know, just the, the gamble of it all. You know, is it going to work when I need it or it doesn't? You know, it's frustrating. Uh, now, to the best of my knowledge, Nightcore does have a two-year warranty. So they should be able to fix this in case you have a problem. To the best of my knowledge, I'm the only one who has this issue. Um, so... You know, hopefully it's taken care of because once again, I think this is going to be a great entry level EDC gadget to give to somebody, you know, so they have a secondary flashlight so they don't have to rely on their phone for illumination in a dark place. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for me on this little short uh, rant, I guess. So that's about it for me, guys. I don't want to drag this into the ground or make this video overly long. Just understand that this Nightcore Tiny 2 has failed me, at least personally. Now, you know, I'm not trying to start unnecessary conflict with Nightcore. They have a great rep reputation, so it's a good chance I probably got a lemon or I might have damaged it at some point without realizing it. Regardless of that, I got this one for free for testing. It cost $40. So for the regular Joe out there, if you're trying to buy something like this, it's $40, and for $40, it shouldn't be unreliable. I'd understand if I bought a light for seven bucks at the front counter of an AutoZone, you know, some rinky-dink light, uh, no-name brand, but this, it shouldn't be happening. Now, I did email Nightcore about this about a month ago. They have never gotten back to me. So if they're not gonna get back to me, Who's to say that they're, you know, going to listen to any of you guys, you know, you know, to be completely honest here. So I just I'm just trying to make sure that everybody's happy that the that the customers are getting what they what they ordered and they're getting quality products. And I hope that Nightcore, if you're watching, uh, please go ahead and reach out to me so we can fix this issue. Because once again, I do want to love this. I do want to put this on my Amazon store because I think it would make a great uh, either redundancy and EDC or a great uh, introductory EDC item for you know, for somebody. So that's about it for me, guys. So thank you for watching. I know we've been a little quiet lately. We are leaving to go camping, me and Guervo, tomorrow morning. So uh, for the next three days, we're going to be cooking up some good food. We're going to be reviewing some gear. Patrons, there's going to be a giveaway for you guys. And uh, Guervo's going to be playing some tunes around the campfire. We're going to be sipping some whiskey. So hopefully you join us then. So that's about it for me. We'll see you guys next week with another video. Now go outside and get your boots dirty.